Central bankers, economists and other financial specialists arriving in large numbers to say goodbye to a colleague. It's not the usual kind of leaving party. They came for a colloquium. An unconventional goodbye then, but these are unconventional times. It's my pleasure to welcome you here today on the occasion of this colloquium on monetary policy in unconventional times. Slightly euphemistic. Euphemistic indeed. Unconventional times demand unconventional measures. The European Central Bank, guardian of Europe's single currency, was obliged to use unusual measures to give the euro shelter from the storm and to protect its primary objective, price stability. The ECB's focus on price stability in the medium term for the euro area will contribute to an anchoring of longer term inflation expectations in all countries. The event was arranged to mark the departure from the ECB's executive board of José Manuel González Paramo after eight years. He took over market operations just before the storm broke. Among his responsibilities, he led the business area in charge of carrying out the non-standard measures. There is actually a time-barring notion of what non-standard and standard monetary policies are. So, to, to, to a sense, providing liquidity to the markets may take different shapes depending on the financial system we operate and when the liquidity problems emerge. The central banking world was aware that what was happening was unusual, but the period from August 2007 was very unusual. The euro system embarked on a series of non-standard measures such as long-term refinancing operations and interventions on capital markets. It was necessary to guarantee the transmission mechanism of monetary policy and to correct some dysfunction in some parts of the financial markets. Not everyone agreed with this, and later, at a celebratory dinner, one former central bank governor reiterated his objections to some of the non-standard measures. The central bank is the lender of last resort, always has to be for the banking system. The central bank is not the financier of last resort for governments. Good monetary policy is never compatible with financing governments, directly or indirectly, full stop. But although there were those who had their doubts about some of the unusual measures, the euro area was facing a real crisis, which began with the seizing up of the euro bank money markets. We realised then that we were fully prepared to identify those kind of things, to deal with liquidity problems and to intervene immediately. And with success, I think, with hindsight. The bank was aware, of course, that these non-standard measures would be for a limited duration. Of course, first, non-standard measures should remain temporary. And this is the way to address the issue of the side effects associated to being too long. The most important thing is that the overarching aim of the ECB, price stability, has been maintained. I don't think that price stability objective has failed. If a conflict has emerged between these uh, financial stability and some conceptions of uh, inflation targeting, this cannot be held against ECB's monetary policy strategy. Several of the speakers focused on fiscal policy and the measures required to correct imbalances which began sometime before the current crisis. How effective are fiscal rules? Well, I started my job as Commissioner for Economic and Monetary Affairs in April 2004, when two uh, very important members of the Economic and Monetary Union, Germany and France, had organized a rebellion against the uh, Stability and Growth Pact, and we need to fix and to rebuild the uh, fiscal discipline rules that had been destroyed. In fact, important steps have been taken concerning the implementation of fiscal rules and consolidation measures. Everywhere, governments have undertaken significant and difficult reforms and continue to do so. Although more work is certainly needed, we should appreciate how quickly things improve when serious action is taken. That's certainly something for those who attended this colloquium to think about.